Hey, what's up? <clears throat> hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Haven't posted in a day or two, but we're going to get back on it right now. Um, check the description for all my information. I do premium lead code problems on Patreon and uh, join my Discord. This is ad binary. Um, this is an easy problem, got a lot of likes. If you don't know what binary is, it's like the first thing you learn in computer science is that there's more than one number system. Um, so we use a decimal based number system, um, base 10, uh, which is, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's like nine, um, 10, you know, up to 10 different numbers. Right. But for, um, binary, it's actually base two. So there's two different numbers. There's zero and then there's one. Um, that's what binary is. Computer science binary is made up of a bunch of zeros and ones. You might have heard that before. But decimal and binary can both represent the same thing. The number three in decimal is equivalent to the number one, uh, one, one or 11 in binary. And that's because this is how binary works. Binary works um, so that the least significant digit is worth um this is worth a value of one and then it goes up it's exponents it's uh exponents of two so um then this is worth two then this is worth four then this is worth eight then 16 32 64 etc um so least significant digit is worth one and then it goes up by uh exponents of two each time you go to the left so this is the idea here. Um, what we want to do is given two binary strings. So we're given two strings that represent binary numbers. Um, then return their sum. So also a binary string. So we want to return the sum as a binary string. The input strings are both non-empty and contain characters one or zero. Okay, so they're not em there's no empty strings either. Uh, so let's see for the example what we're dealing with here. So this, like I said, least there's only one digit, so it's the least significant. So this represents one. It's just one. This represents three because it's one plus two. When it's a one in that place, so yeah, when it's a when it's um, a zero, it still means zero. But when it's a one, it counts as that factor of two. So uh, this counts as one. If this was the number, it would still be one, but this is three because this counts as two in that case. Okay, um, so this is you know two plus one, which is three, plus one, which is four. So you can't represent four with just two characters, so we need another character. And so we have a zero here, zero in the ones place, zero in the twos place, and then one in the fours place. So it's four, there you go. So you might notice, and then you can go through this example if you want to, but um, you might notice that the way that we want to do these, and almost when you're doing all these number problems or you're adding numbers to strings, or there's actually a lot if you didn't notice, but um, you want to start in addition, especially you're starting at the least significant digit. When you do addition, if you're doing addition just on paper, if you're doing like 436, um, you know, plus whatever plus you know 49 you're gonna start and you're gonna do nine plus six you're gonna carry the one and then you're gonna do four plus three plus that one and uh etc and you're gonna fill out the number from least significant di digit to most significant digit and that's what we're gonna do here so we're gonna go backwards we're gonna check okay one plus one and we're gonna say okay if it's greater, it only goes up to one. So if it's one, two ones, then we're gonna have to, that's gonna be a zero and then we carry the one over. And then it's one and one again, and that's a zero and we carry the one over and that's how we get a hundred. So to do this, we need a string builder because we're doing this in Java and that's how you construct strings. So let's just start writing that out. Um, we're gonna do string builder sb equals new string builder. It's just a class. Uh, we're going to loop backwards, so we're going to set our indexes for each of the strings. So we'll say i is equal to a dot length. i is going to be the pointer at each character in the a string going backwards. Um, so a dot length minus one, and then j is going to be the pointer in b's going through the b string backwards. So we set it to the last character of each index. We're going to initialize a variable called carry. This is going to handle um, 
when we add a one and a one, we want one plus one is zero. It's going to be two, but we carry, we turn it into a zero and we carry the one because there is no two in binary. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have this while loop. We'll say while I is greater than or equal to zero, we're going to go backwards, like I said, through the string or j is greater than or equal to zero. And we do or because we want to traverse them both completely. We don't want to break when one of them is finished, right? Um, if we're doing, like I said, 436 plus 49, you know, you do the addition, you do the addition, but you see, even if there's no number, if this was A and this was B, even if there's no numbers left here, you keep traversing because you want to add up this, you know, with nothing, so. Um, that's it we for the rest of this we'll set our sum equal to carry and then what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the current sum of the two digits that we're looking at so sum will be plus equal to the current character we're looking at in a which i is the pointer so a dot chart i minus the character zero um to get the value one minus zero is one zero minus zero is zero so this is going to give us the value either way, but what it's doing is converting a character to a number here. Um, so this is the idea. We're going to do sum plus equals b dot char at uh, j minus zero. And then what we're going to do is if there, we're going to do sb dot append sum mod two. So why do we do this? Why do we append a the, the modulus? Well, if, um, if both of the current characters we're looking at, like in these strings, if we look at this example, if both of these, actually, let's do this to make it more even. So we're doing the addition between one and one. It's two. So we carry the one and turn this into a zero. So what we're doing is if they're both one, then sub mod two will be zero. So we append a zero for that particular index we're looking at, which is right, because we want to turn this into a zero. And then we want to set carry equal to sum divided by two. Carry equal sum divided by two. That's fine. And um, what this is going to do is it is going to tell us if, if, if it was two. So if it's one plus one, two, two divided by two is one. So we carry a one, which is exactly what we want to do, right? In our output string, when we compare the last characters and it's one and one, we will say, okay, we add the sum, so we add sum one, we add sum, now we have two, sum mod two, two mod two is zero. So we append a zero to the string and then we carry the one over to our next addition. And that's exactly the strategy that we wanna do here. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we set the carry. Also, you have to decrement your point, pointers each time. Um, always gotta do that. And uh, at the end of this, the only thing that we have to worry about is append is actually going forward. So for the next edition, so we carried the one, right? Now we have to add the ones again and we get one plus one is two again. So we carry the one again and we got another zero, but we're appending it like this. And then the last edition is one. So what's happening is this is our answer, but it's backwards. So we want a hundred, but it's zero, zero, one because append puts things at the end. There's not string builder dot, uh, put to the front so what we actually have to do is we have to when we return we have to do sb dot reverse dot two string um so that's the whole thing and the other thing is if there's a carry left over at the end of this loop we want to add it at the end so we could do if carry is not equal to zero um then we can just append that to our string sb dot append uh, carry so this should be good the only thing that you might want to do is if one string ends before the other like i could finish before j you want to make sure you're not going to try and keep adding the current character because it'll be index out of bounds so actually you want to add conditions here to make sure that we're still equal um you want to say okay if i is equal uh greater than or equal to zero and j is greater than or equal to zero just to ensure because uh, one of them will finish first since it's an or condition. So this should be fine, I would assume. There we go. So that's the whole idea. It's kind of just scanning through both of the strings. 
um, and uh, doing the addition, little binary calculations. If you don't understand, maybe look up binary a little bit more. I tried to explain it pretty well, but um, I think I did pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you don't understand anything. But uh, yeah, good solution, pretty quick, good problem. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate anyone that watches the videos and supports me. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. All right, see ya.